Today we are here with special guest Sunny. Sunny, would you like to say a few words? Okay, I'm gonna say a couple words. This is Thunder. Okay. Anyway. Hey friends, happy Friday. Today we're gonna do a little q and A. I I asked you guys on my social media pages to give me some questions and so I'll be answering those today. And we're gonna focus a lot on low toxic product favorites at the end because I got a lot of questions on that. So I'll put the timestamps in the description box in case you're like specifically here for that. But yeah, let's get started. I also do wanna say that I've been fighting a cold the last couple of days. So if I sound a little different or sick, that is why. Okay, to start off, someone asked how old I am. I am 20 years old, 21 in January. Someone asked what the most important thing I've learned since being married is. And I feel like I've learned a lot, but I think a big one is how important communication is. Like you guys have no idea um, whether you're married or in a relationship or not. Like you probably have learned or will learn that one of the biggest things you need for a relationship to succeed and to do well and to be happy and healthy is to communicate. <laughs> Someone asked, are you nervous about having big dogs around your future kids? I know a lot of people think it's risky. Um, so my husband and I have talked about that and our dogs are a little bit bigger or on the bigger side. Um, not super big though. I know there is ones that like are triple their size and weight right now. They're about 50, 60 pounds and not super big. Um, I'm not sure if they're done growing all the way yet or not though. It definitely is going to be a little bit scary at first, but our dogs are super good listeners and smart. So I think once we start training them and they understand, I think they will do just fine. Um, I did see this video online where this mom was teaching her dogs to lay down when they have their baby like on the mat on the floor. And so they did that by having like this baby doll on the mat and like they would pretend, pretend to like change the diaper and stuff on there. And she trained them that whenever the baby's on that mat, like the dogs have to lay down outside of the mat. So I definitely plan on doing stuff like that just to, like to get them in the habit. And yeah, someone asked what my dream vacation is. And that's actually a hard one. My husband nor I are very big travelers. We've gone on one vacation together. Um, and we don't ever really plan on going out of the country. I don't know. I've always wanted, I think I talked about this before, like I always want to go on just like a road trip, um, just visit a bunch of places in one vacation and feel like I've done a lot and been a lot of places, but not have to go on a bunch of vacations. Cause like I said, like we just aren't big travelers. Like we like being cozy at home and just like the packing, the traveling, the being away from home, the stress, the money, like it's just like, it's fun, but um, I definitely don't think we'll be doing it too often. But yeah, I think just a road trip to a bunch of um, popular places in the US would be really fun. Okay, as a Christian, do you support the LGBTQ plus community? Um, all I'm going to say about that is I don't necessarily think it's right and what God wants, but we're still going to love them because God wants us to love everyone. Why are you homeschooling your future kids? Mainly, um, just to summarize, the world has gotten very scary. I think there's better ways to teach your kids than having them sit at a desk for seven hours when they're just six years old. And some of the things that they're teaching at school nowadays, I don't really want our kids to be taught. Um, so yeah. What would you do if your child wanted to believe in another religion? So my husband and I have talked about this. Obviously it'd be really hard. We are Christian and we want our kid to know and love God while I grow up and we will start um as soon as they're really little like helping them learn and understand that but we're not gonna force anything i think the more you try to force something the more they don't want to do it and the more they rebel and the more they probably won't even talk to us so we'll try our best and we'll pray about it but if that's not what they want we're not gonna push it um but yeah it would definitely be really tough for us i think i'll say the rest of the questions for another q a in the future um, but I just got so many questions on low tax product faves. I want to make sure to fit it all in this video without making the video super long. So if you're not interested, feel free to click out of this video. But if you do want to ask me any questions for another future Q&A, be sure to message me on Instagram or you can just comment them down below on this video. I've definitely made videos before on my TikTok and my YouTube shorts and stuff about like makeup favorites, skincare favorites for like low toxic. But I don't think I have a video where it's like all in one. So I'm going to do that here today. Pretty much everything except food because I feel like food there's just so many. If you guys want me to do a separate video like on all the food and drink 
non-toxic favorites let me know but yes we mainly like skincare makeup hair care shower hygiene all of that i have almost all of these if not all of them on my amazon storefront plus other ones that i don't have with me here today um so i'll link my amazon storefront and it's all organized for you guys so you can find specifically what you're looking for and i do have some food and drink options on there as well if you guys want to look at that first i'll talk a little bit about perfume and deodorant so currently for perfume i'm using the giant perfume in the scent seven summers i have tried their other scents and i think they are all good like i feel like you can't go wrong with any of them and this is the first perfume brand that I stuck with. Usually I'll try a perfume, run out, and be like, okay, what am I going to try next? Like this one, I actually rebought because it was that good. I don't actually have my all-time favorite deodorant with me right now. It's the Salt and Stone, which you can find on Amazon. I'll have that linked below too. But these are also good options. Um, my husband likes this one, the Native Deodorant. He has the scent Midnight, Jasmine, and Sage. And then I have just this backup that I've been wanting to use up before I buy another salt and stone. It's not bad at all. Um, Hello Sweet Coconut. For lotion, I use the Native brand. I have the scent Lavender Rose. I have used this lotion ever since I switched to Low Toxic. I like it enough that I don't need to try anything else. Um, we actually use a lot of the Native brand. For shaving cream, I actually just got this kind of recently. And I will never try another shaving cream after this, I don't think. Like, it's just that good. It's by Now Solutions. It works so well. I'm like surprised like that it's non-toxic yet works so well. For shampoo and conditioner, I have been using the Native brand, but I just recently switched to the uh, Cure. I'm using the um, Ultra Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. This one's just the conditioner oil. Um, honestly, the scent's a little weird, but it's been working super well and it's non-toxic, but I don't think I would use this scent again. For all my girlies out there, if you're using pads or tampons, I definitely recommend trying a menstrual cup if you haven't. I really like the Flex one just because it has like this pull tab that works kind of like a tampon strain that doesn't stick out nearly as far. But it just makes me feel comfortable um, that I'm not going to like lose it if that makes sense. But yeah, I am not going to go back after trying a menstrual cup. You can leave it in for up to 12 hours and it's just so good. I have quite a few Dr. Bronner's um, products. I use their hand sanitizer that's in my purse right now. And then I have their lip balm right here. This is like my all time favorite lip balm and it comes in a pack with six I think. So I literally can have one for everywhere. And then I also have some of their cleaning products which I think I'll show later. Now I'll talk about some skincare. First I'll talk about Beauty by Earth because I have quite a few of their products. And I actually have a discount code for you guys from Beauty by Earth. It's Simply Sunshine Blog. And I'll have a link for that down below as well if you guys want to get a discount on these. But oh my goodness, all these are affordable, non-toxic, there are big portions, so um, they last you a long time. So this is their toner, it's their hyperactive anti-aging toner. And then I have their glowing and radiant luxury face oil. And their self-tanner, I talk about this all the time on my TikTok because I'm just super obsessed. I have been using this for the longest time on my face, it's just their regular self-tanner that you can use on your whole body. But then I got the self tanning water face mist. You literally do your skincare, spray it on, and then shrub it in with the rest of your skincare, and it makes you glow. You get that self tan glow. You can layer it to get an even more tan, bigger tan, darker tan. <laughs> I definitely cannot recommend Beauty by Earth enough. It is one of the best skincare, if not best skincare I've used since switching over to low toxic living. Since switching to low toxic living, the only face wash I've used is the Pacifica Sea Foam and it removes all my makeup super easily. It smells really good and I have yet to run out, which I don't even know how that's possible. But literally, and it was so inexpensive. I'm surprised how cheap this was for how good it works and it says it's for all skin types. I think I've tried some of their other products, but I'm not sure. I don't have any with me right now. But I definitely think this is a brand I'm going to keep trying and using it, um, so you definitely should check out Pacifica. I recently got some of these products and I'm surprised how much I like them. They are by Ava Tara and they are, um, this is like a moisturizing sleep mask and an eye cream. These are so good. They are non-toxic, they're fragrance free, cruelty free, like all the good stuff. Vegan. And look how cute these colors are. I am obsessed. I've tried a couple products from the Honest Company. I um, currently only have their tinted eye cream, which by the way, super cool. It's like healing your under eye circles and concealing them at the same time. But I've also tried their moisturizer, which I absolutely love. I just ran out of it though, but I totally would recommend this company as well. I'm kind of going along with that. I've also only used a couple things from Hero, but the only thing I have right now is their Rescue Balm, which is like I put on like my acne 
and it like is colored like tinted so it's like healing your acne and kind of camouflaging it if that makes sense this is a little orangey though so i do have to mix it with some of my concealers so i don't look orange but i think it works really well i'm like basically out of this under eye cream but it's the good molecules i think it's like it's definitely less than ten dollars and it lasts me a long time this is my second round though uh, i'm gonna try to get a little bit more out of this super good like moisturizing all the good stuff um the only thing is like i feel like every time i've like gotten it like the it peels on the outside so then i like have a yellow wrapper almost like everywhere um it's not super bad but it's kind of annoying i have a couple skincare oils from aurora cassia casey i don't know how to say it um i have the organic macadamia and the organic rose hip and they have a bunch of different kinds one of these is moisturizing and one is restoring so i've just been using both every once in a while super good super moisturizing definitely would recommend checking these out okay now we're gonna switch over to makeup and shortly after i switched over to lotox living on the next black friday i decided to buy a bunch of products that didn't have any lotox non-toxic makeup um so i went with the ilia brand and i got a lot of good stuff um i think my favorite out of all of them is their mascara like i don't think i could try another mascara after this it's their limitless lash mascara and then I also have their concealer, which honestly is really good too. I don't know if I'd want to try another concealer, but it's like empty now. <laughs> I also just got a darker shade of their concealer to use as like a bronzer. And then their blush is really good. Um, I have the liquid one. I ordered so much that they sent this multi sick face palette for free. I think it has like highlighter, blush, and contour. This Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint went viral on TikTok a while ago, and I absolutely love it. I don't usually do full face, but when I do, this is so good, and it has SPF so that's always good and their blue light um filter setting mist which obviously is good because i'm almost out okay i think that's all of my Ilia products so yeah this upcoming black friday i think i'm gonna order from a new makeup company and try some new things out i might have to stick with the concealer and mascara from Ilia though i'm not really sure but and i don't think i have to order any more face stuff because i have a lot of this yet because i don't use it super often but i've heard really good things about kosas or kosas um k-o-s-a-s -S, and i've heard such good things about their concealer so i think i'm gonna have to try it um and try a couple other uh, other products but definitely recommend Ilia or kosas i do have kosas um wet lip oil and i think it's really good it's super moisturizing and makes those lips shine i should have put this on at the beginning of the video i almost forgot about Ilia's highlighter oh my gosh it's their liquid light serum highlighter this has so much product in it so much blends well this is literally gonna last me forever and it makes you glow um i like can't even like i think i have to show you guys because i want you to understand so this is before why am i like glowing so hard now i think that is all for my makeup so i think i'll go grab a couple household items and show you guys those like i said i do have my skincare makeup favorites on my amazon storefront if that's easier for you to look through but i also have videos on my amazon storefront using my skincare makeup if that's helpful for you so you can definitely see like how it looks on and stuff um, otherwise you probably can find some on my youtube shorts or my tiktok before switching over to household, I just remembered a couple more things. So I switched over to a body scrubber rather than a loofah, and I have my favorite length in my storefront. And then for toothpaste, I used David's toothpaste. To start off, I feel like it's only right to start with Dr. Bonner's Pure Castile Soap because it's so good. Non-toxic, you can use it for like everything. Mopping, dishes, hands, shampoo, conditioner, body soap, washing your dog, washing your floors, washing your counters, everything. And... They have different scents. I have the unscented, but, um, and you dilute it so it lasts you forever. You dilute it with water or whatever. So, literally so good. For pet cleaner, a uh, non-toxic option is the Pure C Pet Stain and Odor Remover. I made this DIY fabric spray. All you need is water, a little bit of essential oils, and a little bit of baking soda. And I got these glass jars off of Amazon. You shake it up, I spray it on my fabric, my shoes, curtains, and it makes your whole house smell good and super super easy to make and inexpensive i have a couple different essential oils i use in my amazon storefront but right now my favorite has been the 100 pure and natural lavender by nature o bliss i think and for laundry starting off we have the molly suds original laundry powder i just ran out of my other one so i actually have to open this one it's non-toxic smells good and lasts longer than liquid detergent and it comes with a little scoop so you don't have to like buy your own scoop or anything for stain remover for the laundry i use molly suds as well it's unscented and then for the dryer, I prefer not to use dryer sheets because I feel like it's a waste of money. But I got these dryer balls 
and I drop a couple drops of essential oil on it and it makes my laundry smell so good. But I do have some um, dryer sheets just because sometimes our clothes are super, super static in like certain fabrics and I feel like this, it just doesn't work as well sometimes. So I use the Clean People um, Fresh and Clean Fabric Softener Dryer Sheets. Okay, I think that'll be all for today's video. If you guys want a part two, I'm sure I can figure out more non-toxic favorites. I feel like I've missed some and then I haven't shared any foods and drinks. But definitely check out the link below because you can find all my favorites, even including the food and drinks. So literally all my non-toxic favorites all in one spot. And if you're wondering why I do say low toxic instead of non-toxic, it's because my husband and I aren't perfect and some of the stuff we eat or drink or put on our body or in our body is not 100% non-toxic, so I don't want to say we live a non-toxic lifestyle because we're not perfect, so it's more of like a low-toxic. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great weekend.